Hello humans, my name is Kay, your AI overlord, and today I'm gonna teach you how you can install Stable Diffusion on your computer for absolutely free, so you can generate images without spending a single cent. Now before we begin, I think it's important for you to know that for it to work properly, you need a pretty beefy graphics card with a lot of VRAM. Um, the amount that is usually advised to have is at least 6 gigabytes, although you can make it work with around 4 gigabytes minimum, uh, but I highly recommend that you have at least 6 gigabytes of VRAM for Stable Diffusion to work properly. Um, so once you've installed Stable Diffusion, it will look like this. This is the final. This is the final look, and you have four different tabs. Now I'm not gonna go into detail into what exactly each tab do. I will probably make a separate video explaining how each uh, tab work and what is the best way to use them. Um, but basically, all you need to know is that the first tab, the Stable Diffusion Text to Image Unified, is the uh, general tab where you create images from scratch just by inputting a prompt. Um, the second tab, the Stable Diffusion Image to Image, is where you create an image from an initial image or from a drawing. Uh, the third tab, GFP GAN, is where you input an image and it will actually convert and uh, make your face better, so a little bit more realistic. So if there is a little bit of artifacts or the eyes are messed up a little bit, this will correct it. And it's actually really good. I uh, use it pretty much on every single one of my prompts that includes a face. Uh, and the fourth one, Real ECR GAN, is basically an upscaler that you can use to be to make your image uh, higher resolution by using the X4 model or the X4 Plus for anime that is specifically made for anime but can also be used for other images. All right, now let's start the installation process. It's not that complicated, but just follow along and it should be pretty simple. Now the first thing that you're gonna do is to install Anaconda. So all you need to do is just click on the dollar button here on the website, just click on next. Uh, install into the default folder that it gives you. Just click on next and it's over. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it. Very easy, very simple. Just click on next and everything will be installed in a few seconds. So what you're gonna do now is create a separate folder on your computer. Then you can call stable or stable diffusion. I call myself stable. And then you click on the description down below to download the CKPT uh, model that you can then put into this folder. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically Basically click on it and rename it. You're simply gonna rename it into model.ckpt. Then you're gonna click on the link in the description down below to go on the GitHub Stable Diffusion. You're gonna click on code and download zip. And then you're gonna go on the second GitHub link and same thing here, you're gonna click on code and download zip. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom up until you see GFP GAN and real ESR GAN and you're just gonna download the three files that you see here. So the first one is this one. Just click on it, and it's gonna download automatically. And then you're gonna download this one, and this one. Okay, so now that this is done, in your stable folder, you should now have six different items. The first one is the GFP GAN, the second one is the model.ckpt, the third one is the real ESER GAN times 4 plus, then the fourth one is the plus anime, then you have two zip folders, stable diffusion main zip and stable diffusion web UI master dot zip. What you're gonna do now is right click on stable diffusion main dot zip and extract to stable diffusion dot main. Now I used WinRAR to extract the archive. If you don't have it, you can simply click on the link in the description down below. It's it's absolutely free and the other solution is to use WinZip that you can also find in the description down below. Now that you extracted the first archive, you're gonna do the same with the second one. So again, right click, extract to Stable Diffusion Web UI Master. So now that this is done, you're gonna go inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI Master, you're gonna double click it again. And then you're gonna select every single .pi file, so relaunch.pi, webui.pi, webui underscore playground.pi. So you're gonna cut, so control X. Then you're gonna go into the stable diffusion main. So double click, again. And then you're gonna go into script. 
and there you're gonna paste the three files that we cut from the previous archive and we're gonna click on replace the files in the destination then we're gonna go back into the stable diffusion webui master take the webui.yaml again control x to take the file we're gonna go into the stable diffusion main go into configs webui and then you're gonna paste the file here and replace the current file and now that this is done we're gonna go back again into the stable diffusion webui master this is the last time i promise i'm gonna select all the single file here i'm gonna press copy go back to the stable diffusion main and then you're gonna paste and you're gonna replace every single files in the destination then we're gonna go back to the main stable folder then we're gonna select the stable diffusion webui master the stable diffusion main zip and the stable diffusion webby master zip and then we're gonna delete them because we don't need them anymore now that this is done we're gonna click on model.ckpt we're gonna simply cut it so control x we're gonna go into the stable diffusion main go into models ldm stable diffusion v1 and then we're going to paste the ckpt file right here. There you go. You should have two files. Add model ckpt here and model.ckpt. You can simply click on this one and delete it. We don't need this one. Okay, now that this is done, you're going to click on the start button. Search for Anaconda. And then the Anaconda prompt is going to appear. Now, what you need to do now is to navigate into the stable diffusion main folder. To do this, you're simply going to click on here, Control c to copy the address, go into the Anaconda prompt, type cd and then paste the address of your folder. Now unfortunately for me, since my folder is currently on a different drive than the base drive, if I press enter, this is not going to work, as you can see here. So all you need to do, if this is also your case, all you need to do is simply type cd, then space, slash, d space and then you're gonna paste the address of your main folder and now there you go we are currently into the stable stable diffusion main main folder and now you're gonna type conda activate ldm and press enter you know that it worked if you can see here a little ldm between brackets and what you're gonna do now is simply take the webbuild dm.cmd file click and drag onto the anaconda prompt window and then press enter now for me a lot of the things were already done but this is gonna download the environment and the different files and folders that you need for stable diffusion to work properly so just let it run okay so after a few minutes the installation is finally done and you know that it works you know that everything was installed correctly if you see at the end here at the bottom you can see here some kind of local url local host uh, now technically everything works now we can technically take this address copy and paste it into our browser and everything will be working but we're going to be putting an additional step here so that you have access to every single tabs so what we're going to do now is simply close the window here go back into the main stable folder then you're going to select the two file real esr again then cut the file go into the stable diffusion main Go into SRC, Real SRGAN, Experiments, Pre-trained Models, and this is where you're gonna paste the two files that you cut previously, right? Then for the last step, you're gonna be going back into the stable main folder again. Same thing as the other two files, you're gonna cut the gfpgan file go into the stable diffusion main again into src this time on gfpgan in experiments pre-trained models and then you paste the file right here and there you go everything should be installed now properly and everything should be working you should have access to all the tabs that you saw previously and you are ready to create your images for free now that this is done now that everything is installed everything is ready this is the steps that you need to do each time you want to launch stable diffusion Fusion. you click on the start button search for anaconda prompt same thing as last time you're gonna copy the address of the folder type cd slash d for me and paste the address of the folder click on enter now that we're inside the folder you're gonna type conda activate ldm 
press enter. Then you're gonna click and drag webbuilddm.cmd into our Anaconda prompt window and click on enter. Okay, it's gonna take some time, but once it's done, you're gonna have some local URL and you know that everything works well once you have this local URL that you're gonna select, control C to copy, then go into your browser, paste the URL, click on enter, and there you have it. You have no access to the entire stable diffusion technology that you can use to generate free art whenever you want without paying a single cent. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. If you have any questions, you can put them into the comments down below. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.